Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam, your science chum. Have your pen, paper, and module ready for today. We will learn about separating mixtures through evaporation here in our Science 6 class. In our previous episode, you have learned separating mixtures through filtering and sieving, right? As our view, what is filtration and sieving? Very good! Filtration is a method used to separate insoluble solids from liquid with the use of a filtered paper or cloth. Sieving is a technique used to separate solid from solid mixtures in which two or more components of different sizes are separated with the use of a sieve. Identify the techniques used in separating the following mixtures. Write F for filtering and S for sieving. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Powdered milk with small stones. The correct answer is S. Number 2. Water and sand. The correct answer is F. Number 3. Sand and gravel. The correct answer is S. And number four, coffee beans and hot water. The correct answer is F. Amazing! You really understood our previous episode. Science-minded learners, are you ready to learn something today? Then, give me your thumbs up. One more time, give me your Thumbs up! Great! Now, let's dive to what's new. Read the questions and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. What is the process of separating soluble solids from liquid through heating? A. Evaporation B. Filtration C. Picking or D. Sieving The correct answer is letter A. Evaporation Number 2. In the evaporation process, liquid becomes blank when heated. A. Ice cubes B. Plasma C. Solid or D. Vapor The correct answer is Letter D. Vapor Which of the following situation shows evaporation process? A. Drying of clothes under the heat of the sun B. Filtering of sand and water C. Freezing of water in the freezer or D. Flooding of water in the river The correct answer is A. Drying of clothes under the heat of the sun. Number 4. Marivel leaves a glass of water outside the house. As days go by, the amount of water becomes less. What do you think is the reason for this? A. Insects sipped the water. B. Water in the container was not changed. C. Water in the container evaporated. Or D. Mother accidentally throw the water in the glass. The correct answer is C. Water in the container evaporated. Excellent science-minded learners! At the end of this episode, you will learn how to Identify mixtures that can be separated through evaporation. Identify the process of separating mixtures which uses evaporation technique and apply the evaporation technique in everyday life. 
soluble solids can be separated from a liquid through the process of evaporation. A common example of this is when you want to get salt from seawater. Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. Heat, being the main component of this process, separates the mixture of solid from liquid. As liquid goes into the air, in the form of gas when heated, changing liquid to gas as an example of physical change. Some examples of evaporation are boiling water and drying clothes. Now, let's have our activity time! In this activity, we shall experience how soluble solid can be separated from a liquid. These are the materials we need. Gas lamp, watch glass, sea water or mixture of salt and water, tripod and match sticks. First, prepare the salt solution by dissolving salt in the water. Second, put the two drops of salt solution in the watch. Then, heat the solution until the water evaporates and salt remains in the watch glass. Number 1. What kind of mixture is salt and water? Great! It's a solution. Number 2. What happens to the salt solution when heated? Very good! The water evaporates and the salt remains in the watch glass. Number 3. How did we separate the components of the mixture? Excellent! In the salt solution, salt is separated from the water by heating the mixture. This process is called evaporation. So, that's all for our activity. Did you enjoy it? Now, we know the soluble solids are separated from liquid. Now, let's move to what's more. Identify if the following conditions undergo evaporation process or not. Draw a sun if it undergoes evaporation process and X if not. Number 1. Drying of wet floor. The correct answer is sun. Number 2. Watching TV. The correct answer is X. Number 3. Salt making. The correct answer is sun. Number 4. Cooking rice. The correct answer is sun. And number 5. Coloring a book. The correct answer is X. Excellent! Science minded learners! Oh! We have our friend Sissy! Hi Sissy! It's nice to see you today. How do you do? Hello, Teacher Pam. I'm doing great. I'm always excited to learn every day. That's good to know. So, do you enjoy learning at home, Sissy? Yes, Teacher Pam. I enjoy doing the science activities. That's great! If you need help in doing your science activities, don't hesitate to call for a help from your family especially in doing the activities or experiments. Also, you need to exert extra care in handling the materials in your activity so that you will not get hurt and will avoid accident. So Cece, what help do you need right now? I need to arrange these jumbled letters to their correct terms or words and give each definition. Can you help me again, science-minded learners? Arrange the jumbled letters to form a correct science term or word and give a short definition.
The correct answer is heating. What is heating? That's right! Heating is a technique of bringing the solid and liquid mixture to a boiling point in order to separate the substances. The correct answer is gas. What is gas? Very good! When we heat the liquid substances, the liquid evaporates and forms into gas. The correct answer is evaporation. What is evaporation? Excellent! Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. Yay! Well done, science-minded learners! Our friend Sissy is very happy because you're always ready to help her. Hopefully, you will not get tired in helping someone like Sissy. Bye, Sissy! Now, let's go to Ever. What I have learned. Complete the following paragraph. Write your answers on your paper. Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves blank until the solvent blank, leaving behind the blank. Very good! Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. Wow! You did well, my dear science-minded learners! I know that you learned something today from our lesson. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our next activity? What I can do? In your paper, write a short explanation on the following situations. Number 1. A grade 6 science class group of pupils would like to separate salt from water. What method will they use to separate the mixture? That's right! They will use evaporation as a method to separate the salt from water. Number 2. In the illustration, explain a few sentences about the method of separating mixtures and give its benefit of separating it. Great! The illustration shows drying of wet clothes under the heat of the sun. The water in the clothes evaporates, forming into gas. As the water evaporates, the clothes became dry and ready to be worn again. I'm so happy that you have learned something from our episode. I hope that you will apply what you have learned because that is what a scientist do. Now, science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? Great! Because I'm ready to give you an assessment. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Do it on your paper. Number 1. What is the process of separating mixtures which involves the heating of the solution leaving behind the solid residue? A. Distillation B. Evaporation C. Picking or D. Sieving The correct answer is B. Evaporation Number 2. In evaporation process, what happens when a liquid is heated? A. Gas B. Plasma C. Stays liquid or D. Solid The correct answer is A. Gas Number 3. The following conditions involve evaporation except blank. A. Boiling kamote. B. Drying of hair using hair dryer. C. Pulling of chair. Or D. Water cycle. The correct answer is 
C. Pulling of chair. Number 4. What is the technique of bringing the solid and liquid mixture to the boiling point in order to separate the substances? A. Cooling B. Drying C. Freezing or D. Heating The correct answer is D. Heating Number 5. What method is used to separate soluble solids from liquid? A. Decantation B. Distillation C. Evaporation or D. Use of magnet The correct answer is C. Evaporation So, how do you find our assessment science-minded learners? Is it easy? Yes! I know that it's very easy for you because you participated actively in our lesson today. Well done, science-minded learners! Don't forget to follow our official DAPED TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch your lessons anytime, anywhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe to catch up with the next lesson on separating mixtures through decantation, let's stay tuned to learn more. Only here on DAPED TV. Remember, our Almighty God is always with us and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Pam, leaving a message. It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Wassalam!